Every week, hundreds of aerial delivery systems, or parachutes, are deployed over Friar Drop Zone to train up airborne students. We produce more parachutes than any other shop in the military. Last year, I think we packed over 100,000 parachutes, so it's a, it's a busy place. And on any given weekday, you can find the 507th Parachute Infantry Regiment's aerial delivery specialist working hard in the pack shed at Lawson Army Airfield. This is the pack facility, parachute pack facility for Echo Company. We support the entire basic airborne course. These guys come in and they bust their tail every day. We have 28 pack tables. We have 28 packers every day. They pack from 15 T-11s to 25 T-10s on a daily basis. We produce 700 T-10s a day and about 420 T-11s a day, although we never mix the days up. We're either packing T-10s or T-11s or one of our reserve systems. No matter what you call them, quartermasters, riggers, red hats, aerial delivery specialists, parachute packers, or three-peat rigger rodeo champions, if you're airborne, you can bet your life on the work they do. This is a zero tolerance, zero defect job. I mean, you have to understand when somebody's exiting an aircraft at 1,250 feet, there's really no room for error. This is the one of the most serious jobs, in my opinion, in the uh, military. To ensure a perfect pack for every parachute, there are accuracy checks after each step during the packing process and then some. For every four tables, they have an in-process inspector who is qualified and certified on the parachute system, who is watching every step. The riggers have rigger checks, that's stations that they stop at to check the pack process on the parachute. We also have final inspectors. They stand center aisle of the pack lanes and they inspect the parachute after it's packed before we send it to the jumpers. And then it's inspected again before it's issued to the jumpers. And then it's inspected by the jump masters uh, when uh, the jumpers are getting ready to get on the aircraft. So every time a jumper has a parachute on his bag, it's been inspected many times. Echo Company's mission is critical, and they have a very clear motto which hangs at the end of every pack table to remind them each time they look up. Rigor motto is I will be sure always. It's the most important thing in the world to the people that are uh, walking out of the aircraft. Our job is basically life and death every time we do it, so we don't take any shortcuts. We're always sure of the work that we're doing, packing parachutes, and it's always done to the best of our abilities with no guesswork. The battalion commander, general show up, full bird colonels jump our chute, you know, and you got to really, really remember the fact that you got to be sure always. The command staff is so committed to quality and safety that aside from the many required packing checks, riggers must also put their own work to the test. Our commander come in here, our first sergeant come in here and give us our own chute. Our chief, you know, he'll do it in a heartbeat. He'll go, all right, we'll go next door and find one of your chutes and go get on the bird. The 507's aerial delivery specialists work hard day in and day out to ensure that airborne students have only the safest and finest packed parachutes anywhere on or above the planet. You definitely need to have uh, the mentality that you have to know that you're going to save somebody's life. So I really take pride in putting 700 through a week, definitely safely. Here at the 1st of the 507th, jumping out of airplanes is what we do. So everybody, everybody is working towards the safety of the people. These are students, you know, they've never jumped out of an airplane before. Everything is bent towards being safe. The same is true down here at the rigger shed. We know that these people have never jumped out of airplanes before. The command knows it, the battalion knows it, the, the brigade knows it, and so they get the best that they can be given. And if they don't work, then bring them back and we'll give you another one. <laughs> we will be sure always. Ron Andrus, Fort Benning TV.